Hello and welcome back to another episode of Getting Every Minecraft Advancement. To start this episode off, I put all of the, the kind of unnecessary things that I collected through my times in the nether and put them in a chest. I didn't really feel like stopping back at home even though it wasn't that far before setting out on an adventure. In this episode, I'm mainly going for the adventuring time advancement, which is to visit every single biome. And I don't think I can really record visiting every single biome because I don't even know what half the biomes are. You could you could tell me that like there were desert hills and normal desert, and I wouldn't know the difference because I'm not super keen on checking every five seconds. This episode is a lot of just clips of my favorite biomes, I guess, like highlight reel. Here are my favorites. <laughs> I found a desert with a bunch of um, azalea trees growing, and when there's an azalea tree growing above ground, that usually means there's a lush cave underneath, which I'm a big fan of lush caves. I really love all of the little green blocks that, that are in them, and also axolotls are my friends, and I love them. Unfortunately, this cave didn't have a lot of pools where axolotls were spawning. I don't know if I was at the wrong like height or something or wrong area or if there was just something wrong with those pools but I got a little unlucky. I did manage to leave with two axolotls and I think that's incredible. I haven't named them yet. I'm, I'm still not sure what their names are. I found a desert temple which I thankfully didn't explode but I don't think I actually got all the TNT in it which irks me. And I didn't find an enchanted golden apple, which I wasn't really expecting to, but <laughs> I'm not looking forward to needing to find one because it's kind of miserable. They're so rare. I also decided to tame any of the cats that I saw that I didn't have and sit them down to go and collect them later because adventuring with cats is kind of really annoying because especially if you have multiple cats, only one cat can go on the boat and then the rest of them don't teleport and then it's just really, really sad. And then I found this beehive and I actually spent most of the day waiting around to make sure that there were three bees that lived there before picking it up. <laughs> here was another cat. I love him. I'm a big fan of flower forest biomes, even though I didn't stay very long in the one that I found. They're just really pretty. And honestly, I kind of regret not putting my house close to one, because, you know, it's a flower forest. It's nice and colorful. Something that I'm actually really bad at is making sure I'm going in the right direction, because I wanted to just, like, go away from home, but sometimes I'll go, ooh, what's that over there, and then get really turned around and backtrack completely. I found a meadow biome as well, and I think there's one closer to my house, but I never really got around to making a jukebox and playing music on it to get an advancement, so I decided to do it here. But first, there was a cat who I didn't have yet and needed to be my friend, so... That took top priority. I was also sorely disappointed to learn that this mountainous place didn't have any powdered snow on it. Rude, honestly. You'd think there would be some, but there wasn't. And when it became nighttime, I trapped a creeper in a boat and then a skeleton, because that's kind of the easiest way I figured out on how to get a disc. Like it's a little annoying, but it's not as bad as some other ways of getting it, which is running from a creeper and a skeleton at the same time and hoping that it hits the skin, it hits the creeper and not you. And then there was another cat that I didn't have. What a guy. Also, while I was building off camera, um, I was trying to- I want to use dark oak for something, and um, so I was growing dark oak trees, and then one of my dark, dark oak trees, which was the only dark oak tree that I had, it dropped three saplings. 
You need four to make a dark oak tree. So at home I just had three saplings sitting in a chest that I couldn't use, so I was really glad to finally get some more. And then I finally found some powdered snow. Honestly, I don't really know what powdered snow does other than be annoying and turn skeletons into strays, but I've just accepted it as part of life at this point. Ice spikes are probably one of my favorite biomes. Not to live in, living here would be miserable, but they just- I think they're really pretty. I don't know why. Maybe it's the part of me that was obsessed with Frozen as a child that goes, wow. It's just like Disney Frozen biome, but <laughs> I don't know. And here you'll see the contender for the world's worst placed house. Need I say more? I found a pillager outpost with a bunch of al- ally- allies? Allies? Allays? I don't know- I don't know how to say it. I keep wanting to call them allies because they are my friends. But I didn't want to take them with me because I didn't know how much further I was going to need to go. And because you can't tame them, they're like a- they go on like the trusted mob system, I think. It would be a very high chance that I would- they would just leave. And I didn't want to deal with that. And I finally found Jelly. Jelly, my beloved. That's it. I love her. I love all of the cats in Minecraft, but I love Jelly especially. She's got that, like, she's got backstory because she's real. I also decided to take Jelly and turn around and go home at this point because I think I had accidentally started to circle back and was pretty close to home, so I just walked back with her. And then after sleeping the night away, I decided to head out again because I had more cats to find and more biomes to find as well. I don't know why, but the sunset here was really nice. It was just a flat biome. Good, good sunset, I guess. I don't really know what was going on when I was filming this. I was just, I was a little out of it. I found a goat and I decided it was a perfect opportunity to get what the whatever floats your goat advancement, which is quite possibly one of the funniest advancements. You just get in a boat and chill. It's really Minecraft telling me to chill out, relax, sit in a boat with a goat, and get your life together. I found a jungle temple and it had absolutely nothing of value inside, which is always really, really nice. Anytime I find a frog, I'm legally required to watch them for at least several seconds. How they move is just adorable to me. They have like the most detailed walk cycle out of any mob. Why? What do they need that- those- that much for? What's- what? And after killing a slime, I was able to make the the frogs have a tadpole, or several tadpoles actually, but I only had enough iron to make one bucket, so I could only take one with me, which was really, really sad. I'll live though. I'll recover. <laughs> weirdest glitch happened. Although this is probably not the weirdest glitch, but it it, it also threw me off really bad because I, I just couldn't look at a certain part of the sky without it going completely insane. This was filmed in 1.19.1, so I don't know if they fixed it when in 1.19.2 but I hope they did, because I don't know what this is, and I don't- I've never been able to recreate it, so it's probably fine. I was trying to find a deep dark biome because I've never actually been able to find one. I know that there's been a couple people that I've seen complaining like, oh my god, the deep dark biomes are so common. Bro, I can't find them. Ever. I found a woodland mansion before I found a deep dark biome. L like, how? How does this happen? I decided not to loot it because I, 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 I wasn't on that path today. I wasn't really in the killing mobs and getting a lot of good loot and 
running home with it. I was on the go in a straight line until I finally get a pop-up that tells me I've been everywhere and traveled the world. The deep dark biome that I found was honestly pathetic. Like, well and truly pathetic. There was nothing but skulk. I was hoping there would be, um, like a shrieker or a catalyst so I could get the advancement that's like, sneak past something that could summon the warden or the warden itself. But nope, this one was just pathetic. And I found so many mushroom islands. I don't know, I, aren't they supposed to be rare? I love them, so I'm not complaining, but aren't they supposed to be like a rare, in the middle of the ocean, weird biome that like you only find at once in a blue moon, not find four of them in several hours? <laughs> At this point I was starting to get close to the 50, I think it's 52 biomes that I needed to find, and this was one of the ones that I hadn't been to, and I was starting to realize the pattern that a lot of the biomes that I hadn't visited were like the mountaintop biomes, because I don't have an elytra, so why the hell would I climb a mountain if I could go around it? Because I hate climbing mountains, I hate, I hate it, I hate it, I don't, I don't like it. This is the part of the new terrain generation that is not my favorite. Why is everything tall? Why am I so small? Help. I need an elytra. <laughs> I did, I finally found the final cat, which is the black cat. You could say something about luck, but honestly, nothing's luckier than a, finding a black cat. They're so cute. Screw everyone else who is like, oh my god, black cats are so bad. They are, they are, they are your friends. I, tr I promise. Unless you are mean to them. Then they are not your friends. <laughs> what the hell am I saying? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you today. <laughs> I found my way to one of the mountaintop biomes that I was pretty sure I was missing, and I was right. So at this point I had one biome left. And I, I could feel it at this point. I knew that... I wouldn't be recording because I, it was probably not the biome that I thought it was going to be, so I wouldn't find it on camera, and I would just have to go, oops, yeah, sorry, I can't record for 10 hours finding this correct biome to get to show the pop-up. My bad. I found more bees, though, and was suddenly hit with the overwhelming and unstoppable urge for honey. Don't know why just wanted honey. I thought that the last biome I was missing was these, like, Mesa Canyon things, and it turns out it wasn't. It turns out the last biome I was missing was some random, like, savanna plateau or something. Because that's... that's correct. And I missed the pop-up because it turns out when you pause the game to open your recording software, the pop-up will still vanish. And I was many thousands of blocks away from home. And I know that I had 25 levels, but I, I did not want to walk several thousand blocks back. I could have used it as an opportunity to take a cat home, but I decided against it and just put all of my things in my ender chest and jumped off a cliff until I died. And here's all the advancements that I got this time. I think that the this whole episode being me trying to get the adventuring time advancement and then the pop-up happening off camera is fitting and incredibly annoying, but I will just have to live with it, I guess. 